Scientists are still learning about these little critters because they only have a short opportunity to study them every 17 years. These are nymph cicadas, some of the earliest to emerge from a few inches under the ground in this area, and their fans have been waiting patiently. I don't really know what to expect. We'll see. Maybe I would think we're going to have a lot more than we had 17 years ago. The cicada apocalypse is upon us. Cicada t-shirts, books, even jewelry, hot sellers at the Arboretum gift shop. But these guys are the stars. In a few days, they will shed their exoskeleton or outer skin. Then they'll be free to mate. That's when the legendary sound begins. It's a familiar story. The males trying to get the attention of the females. 10 to 15 days after they emerge, they will start mating and laying their eggs. So you'll start hearing the, the noise in probably the next week or two. And that's why tree experts at the Morton Arboretum say it's important to protect your sensitive trees and shrubs with netting like this. That's because when the females lay their eggs, they burrow into the underside of the small tree branches. Protect any tree you could not stand to lose. It's cheaper to protect it than it is to replace it. They've already started putting up netting at the Arboretum. They plan to protect about 500 trees and shrubs here. They recommend leaving it up through mid to late June, using netting or fabric with holes no bigger than a quarter inch to keep the cicadas out. You want to use a material that breathes really nicely so it doesn't trap excess moisture inside of the netting, and it also allows light to penetrate. After spending the last 17 years underground, they pulled these little guys out of the soil just this morning. But they've got a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. Their life expectancy only till about mid to late May. In Lyle, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago Eyewitness News.